Shalom. First and foremost, we give all praise, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, which are the true names of the Heavenly Father and of His Son, who the world calls Jesus Christ, who's a so-called black man. I want to say peace and salutations to all the Akim out there that's pushing this truth and sincerity. All right. You already know. It's the dynamic duo. <laughs> Right, Ozma Waf and Nakawan back at it with another lesson. All right, and this and this lesson <coughs> is going to be about um the trans the transitioning of power that's happening right now. We're in the last we're, we're at the last leg, right? Or at the feet of Rome 2.0, which is NATO and the EU headed by America, that whore. Right, so we're gonna start at you if you want to see your screen, bro. We're gonna start okay. at the parable of Lazarus and the rich man because Lazarus and the rich man is talking about two nations of people, it's talking about the Edomites, and also it's talking about Jacob. Right, the parable, the parable that the Christian church loves to chop and screw, they like to remix it and say it's talking about hell. But it's not. Well, actually, it is talking about hell. Actually, it's talking about the white man's hell and the so-called blacks, Latinos, and even some of the Indians' heaven, which is the kingdom of heaven that's going to be over there in the land of Israel from now to the Euphrates. But this is the time that we're coming into because we see all the things that's coming to pass right now. This is a transitioning of power, right? A transition of power because all kingdoms is, is just transferring a rulership to the next man. That's um, what, oh, what's up, bro? Yeah, uh, I'm trying to see how to share my screen real quick. Oh, my, my bad. Go ahead. I, I, was, I, was still, I was still sharing it. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. And, uh, if you like, I got a quick proof tip. Mm-hmm. You can see my screen? Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. So Wisdom Solomon 6, like the brother was <clears throat> expounding, that is a trans, uh, translation of kingship or uh, rulership. Uh, this is a Wisdom Solomon 6 from the top. It say, Hear therefore, O you kings, and understand, learn ye that be judges of the end of the earth. Now, obviously, Esau. Well, let me, it's, it's going to expand. It says, give ear, ye that uh, rule the people and glory in the multitude of nations, right? So who's ruling the people right now? Obviously, Esau, Edom, right? This is his dispensation of time to rule. It says, for power is given you of the Lord and sovereignty from the highest who shall try your works and search out your counsels, right? And this is what he's doing, particularly by the mouth of his prophets, right? Showing everything, showing you the judgment straight out of this Bible, man. Right to show you uh, the counsels of this man. Right, exposing the uh, the darkness. Right, verse four says, because being ministers of his kingdom. Right, minister just means servants. Right, because Esau, they're servants of the Most High God's kingdom that he set up on this world, man, to uh, to carry out a particular judgment. And his judgment, his his uh, his uh, his minister uh, hood, if you will, is to basically uh, basically to purge out the iniquity from Israel by being that sword. Right says being ministers of his kingdom, you have not judged your right, nor kept the law, nor walked after the counsel of God. Horribly and speedily shall he come upon you, for a sharp judgment shall be to them that be in high places. All right. And this is this is that sharp judgment. We're on the brinks of it right now. All right. That's right. That's right. I'm certainly on the brinks of it right now. Now we're closer than ever, bro. All right, you got you got these devils talking about some. They go storm all fifty of the capital and all those things like that. Right, you got this devil Trump. He just got uh he he just got booted out of office for the second time. All right, and we know this Edomite is gonna uh, rise up. This guy Jim Crow Joe, he's finna get in office in what like seven six days. So. Uh -huh. Man, there's a lot of things that's happening right now. National Guard just got deported to Oregon, right? All these things is happening right now. All right, the chip, um, the chip is is, is coming closer. 
You got everything that's stirring up over there in the so-called Middle East. We're transitioning into a part. Matter of fact, just get Cyrac 10 and 8. Yep. And then get Cyrac 40 and 12. Uh, yeah, man. We, yeah, we, uh, <laughs> we finna get up out of here, man. And, we, and listen, man, I'm happy. Yo, like, every day, I'm just like, yo, man, we finna be out of here. Like, like, yep. it's like. It's like, it's like, damn, we finna be, hey, like, it's a new feeling. Because remember, cause remember when bro used to be like, all right, man, we almost out of here. But no, like, this year for real, though. Like, yep. like we finna, we, we finna get out of here. But go ahead and get that Sour 10 and 8, man. Matter of all fact, right. man, start a verse, start a verse, start a verse 7. Okay. Yeah, Sour 10 and 7, it says, pride is hateful before God and man. Uh -huh. And by... And by both one commit iniquity. Yeah, it says pride is hateful before the most high man. And who is the proudest man on the planet Earth? You already know, right? When you read the book of Obadiah, we read the book of Jeremiah, the 49th chapter, the Edomites. They're the most proudest people on the planet Earth. Uh, yep, go ahead. Verse 16, 18. Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before fall. So this is exactly why all right, Esau, Edom, and his kingdom. They're about to go. Uh, they're about to be in. The, they're about to be destroyed, and they're about to fall, man. Right. Because, like the people said, that they're the most prideful kingdom to ever come into existence. That's right, exactly, bro. They like they are like they are so prideful, right? The scripture says what? The pride of the heart had deceived thee, mm -hmm. had deceived this devil, right? Thinking that he's thinking that he's the most side. That's why he want to implant that grain of rice in you, because he thinks that he's the heavenly father. All right. Well, anyway, go ahead, bro. Uh, yes, I read, uh 10 and 8. It mm -hmm. says, because of unrighteous dealings. Yeah, because of unrighteous dealings, right? Esau being the uh, Esau being the, the, uh, deceitful, deceptive. Go ahead. It says, and injuries. And, and injuries. Rip. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't so-called blacks, Latino, Native, and some of the Indians injured by the hand of the so-called white man? Huh? Did he not come over here and rape, rob, and pillage the tribes and steal their land? That's that is unrighteous dealings right there, bro. Why? Because that all goes against the law of the heavenly Father. Go ahead. Says and riches gotten by deceit. Yeah, and riches gotten by deceit. Do you know how much money the so-called white man has accumulated off the black off the backs of you so-called negroes just count you so-called negroes because that's the only thing they really document is you so-called negroes they don't even they didn't even put the numbers up for so-called native and seminal indians and so-called hispanics they didn't even put that up but these different uh european nations right they uh, uh they made over trillions of dollars of free labor of the backs of you so-called blacks, Latinos, and uh, so-called Negroes. <laughs> now, if you add on Latinos, Native, and some Indians, that's a whole lot more, right? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. and, and that rich is gotten by the seat. And Job says that they don't last long. So, 20. I want to say, let's see. You know what it says? Somewhere in Job 20 says... Yeah, Joe twenty fifteen says he has swallowed down riches, and he shall vomit them up again. God shall cast them out his belly, All right? Because they were gotten by deceit, All right? So this man he swallowed it down, thinking that he's going to fully digest this, right? And <laughs> and receive all the benefits from it. But the Most High is basically he's going to make him vomit it up, man. That's right. Because it wasn't justly gotten. It says uh, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches gotten by deceit. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. You're right, you're right. And because of all of this, because of the unrighteous dealings and injuries and riches got by deceit, the kingdom now or the rulership is going to be translated or transferred from one people to another. Right? But yeah, uh, uh, I got Jeremiah 22 and 13, and I got okay. Psalms, I got Psalms the 10th chapter. Okay, good. And then after that, we're going to segue way to Sirach 40 and 12. Okay. So let's get this, you, Jeremiah 22 and 13. Okay. Right. Jeremiah 22 and 13. Right. It says, it says, okay. It says, Woe unto him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness and his chambers by wrong, 
that useth his neighbor's service without ra without wages and giveth him not for his work. And that's what the so and that's what this devil did. He used you so-called blacks, Latino, Native, and similar Indians, right, for his service without wages, right, for your work. So the Bible says, woe, woe unto that man, right? Woe unto that person. But Esau likes to always come up to us and say, hey, remember, we're brothers. Hey, well, you didn't remember that when you when you did all this wickedness to us. You didn't say, oh, we're brothers, you know, we should stop doing this, doing that to them. No, you didn't. You didn't say none of those things. So in return... <clears throat> Right, the Lord is going to judge you guys with no mercy. That's why your whole kingdom is crumbling. Matter of fact, when we read the fourth chapter, it says, "Miserable are the cities that receive thy son." Yep. So, the reason why yep. America is falling is because we're here <laughs> and we're awakening yep. up to our true nationality. Right. So again, it says, "Woe unto him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness." Why? Because how did you build this house? Off of rape, rob, and murder, right? The scriptures, the scriptures, the scriptures tell you about rape. The scriptures tell you about murder. The scriptures tell you about stealing. And you, Esau, you did all those things, right? Not only that, I, I was doing my research on these, on, on, on these uh, inventions, and a lot of these inventions, right, that 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 we all see today, like coming down to incubators. Right, and all those things were formed by the so-called Negro, but because of slavery, because we couldn't prosper, Esau would take the credit. They would take Jake. The, they, they would take Jake to court. Jake would actually get in trouble for creating inventions, and then Esau would go ahead and take it and say, "Yeah, I did it." Right? Remember that devil? Um, what's his name? Uh. The boy that created the uh, allegedly created um, created elect e e e electricity. Oh, Benjamin Franklin. Well, was it him? Or, no, yeah. or was it Thomas? Or was it Thomas Edison? It was one of those devils. It was one uh. of these devils. But he actually didn't do that, bro. A Negro did that. A so-called black man. Unrighteousness. Unrighteous dealings. Riches got by the seat because that could have been money going in that man's pocket. Oh. But no. Esau is a hater. So that's why the Lord is about to roll you down from the rocks. Right? <laughs> no, for real. The Lord said that in Jeremiah 21, yeah, uh, Jeremiah did. 51 and 25, which is just so funny. The Lord said he's going to roll you down from the rocks, nigga. Because you're the yep. real nigga, by the way, too. That's where the eagles like to lodge at, man. The yeah, rocks. Yeah. He said the same thing to Isaiah. Isaiah 1. But yeah. Right quick. Yep. Let me uh, let me get this in, uh, in Proverbs, the 10th chapter. Okay, Proverbs 10 and verse uh, uh, 3, uh, I, mean, I mean verse 2. It says, treasures of wickedness profit nothing, but ri but righteousness delivers from death. So you see that the treasures or the wealth of wickedness profit nothing. Why is it not going to profit anything in the long run? Because eventually you're going to lose it. You're going to lose all these things. So, so ultimately it didn't profit you to do all these things. To just enjoy riches but for a season. Cause they only been enjoying these riches, but for a season. To the most side, it been what like a day, a day or so, half a day, yep. right? Yeah, bro. It been like it been like yeah, it, it actually been like half a year. Cause we know a uh, thousand years is is one day to the most high. So mm -hmm. we were just in slavery half a day ago to the Lord. That's why it's so refreshed in the Lord's mind, the angels' mind, and Yahweh Shah mind. Because we just went through it. Not too long ago. Yahweh Shah just got crucified in the heavens two days ago. Ain't that crazy? Two days ago, bro. <laughs> in the spiritual realm. Two days ago, Yahweh Shah was just crucified. That's why Yahweh Shah is so angry because it's still fresh in his mind. You know what I'm saying? So, like... <laughs> Yo, you devils just don't that's know. Cold, bro. Yeah, that's cold. <laughs> so you devils just don't know how furious and angry the Lord is right now. Yep. Period. But you got it, man. Oh, man. And like the brother was saying, <clears throat> how, you know, the Israelites, we've been making all these inventions and everything, man, since since the time we came over here. And they, they made no account of our labors. While Wisdom Solomon 5 says this, it says, then shall the righteous man Standing great boldness before the space of such as have afflicted him. 
right? And this is what we this is what we're ultimately going to be doing upon the day of salvation. But this is what we're doing right now, man. Right? He says, and made no account of his labors, right? And that's especially <clears throat> going into like the inventions, man. You know, like the peanut butter, traffic light, some even simple things like that. AC, you know, something that the Americans love is their AC. Well, who created that? So-called Negro. You know, but they make no account of our labors. We get no credit for it, you know. Mm -hmm. That was it? Yeah, that was it. Okay, Con, get Chirac 40 and 12 now. All right. Yeah, you can read in the GNT if you want. Okay, I'm good. I'm good in the GNT. Yeah, go ahead and jump to verse 12. All right. Twitter yep. says nothing that comes from bribery or injustice will last. See that? Nothing that comes from bribery or injustice will last. That's why all these riches that America has accumulated is going to come to naught in how long? In one hour. In one mm -hmm. day, pursuant to Revelation, the 18th chapter. All right. Go ahead. It says, but the effects of loyalty will remain forever. Yeah. Your man of fate knows are crazy, bro. Like, and we see this in everyday life. When, when, when you, when you, when you steal another man's woman, that relationship normally doesn't even last long. Cause she moves, you know what I'm saying? Cause she goes on to do the same thing she did to the last nigga. You know what I'm saying? You think, you, you think you just one up this nigga. You finna get one up too. Dang. So Esau, you finna get one up. Go ahead. It says... Wealth that has been obtained, <clears throat> obtained dishonestly. Yo, wealth that has been obtained dishonestly. And the wealth of this kingdom, this sinful kingdom has been obtained dishonestly. Because it was dishonest how this devil uh, uh, received this um, a kingdom, right? Signing <clears throat> a, a so-called treaties like one treaty or one act called the Seminole Indian Removal Act to remove <clears throat> the tribe of Reuben. From his land, right? Oklahoma, Florida, right? Go ahead. It says, wealth that is obtained dishonestly is like a stream that runs full during a thunderstorm. It says, it says, it's like a stream that runs full during a thunderstorm. Now, when you're reading the King James, it says, it's like a, it's like a stream that dries up. A water that dries up just so you just so just imagine a a a, a, a just imagine I Agra Falls drying up. Just picture that. But yeah, you saw the scriptures tell you, the, the scriptures tell you, man. Anything gotten, anything gotten by a a, a wrongdoing, eventually it's not is it, eventually not going to profit you. It's not going to last any longer. So. Watch out how you do things. You gotta watch out how you do certain things, and we see it all the time, right? When we watch these different uh, hood movies, like Paid in Full and you know Belly and all them type of type, type of movies, right? We see how they we see how they get their money, drug dealing, hitting licks, stealing, and eventually what? You know, one person in a group start hating, right? And then. You know, he try to steal all the wealth, and he get, and then he go to prison, or he get put to death, something, something, right? Nothing like that ever, ever lasts. All right. So it's like, you know, history's about to re history's about to repeat itself. Straight up, and, and that wealth, like it's talked about in Sirach ten, that's also translated from people to people. Right? And Proverbs thirteen twenty two it says, "A good man leaveth an inheritance." To his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. All right, so the so the wealth that, that Esau got, right, the, the land I'm going to really the the the, the land and dominion is going to it's going to come to us, man. It's going to come to the just. All right, it's going to be back in the hand of the rightful owners. You know, this gold is now it's no longer going to be his, man. That's right. So yeah, let's go ahead and get to the parable. Yeah, yeah. You had something, uh, you had something else? No. Okay. No, I was too loud. Yeah, man, so here we are to prophesy the downfall of Esau, as we should be doing, right? 
especially especially in these times, you know, and you know, and uh, comforting each other with these words because these words are comforting to to hear, especially just line, just especially with lining it up with what's going on today. But yeah, go ahead, bro. Luke sixteen, start verse nineteen. Luke sixteen and nineteen says, "There was a <clears throat> certain rich man, which was clothed in purple and fine linen." And fare sumptuously every day. Yeah, so the scripture says there was Yahweh saying there was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. Go ahead and get uh Revelation 18 and verse okay. um and verse 16. Because it says that this rich man was clothed in purple and fine linen. Well, let's see who else is clothed in purple and fine linen. All right. Oh, um. You mind if I grab some of the limitations real quick? All right. Because it was, it was tied it it right into it. Uh, I think that was limitations four. And, uh, yeah. Because you know that this, this, this rich man that was clothed in purple, it can't be the Israelites anymore, right? And the reason why is because limitations four and five, it says, they that did feed delicately and are uh, desolate in the streets. They that were brought up in scarlet embrace dung hills, right? So that's Jeremiah was speaking that towards the house of Israel, right? So we used to have that 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 um, that scarlet and that purple and fine linen, but it's no longer us. It went to somebody else. It went to this rich man. Uh, you said Revelation eighteen. Yeah, eighteen and verse sixteen, right? Because <laughs> because you weren't because you were in purple, right, and fine linen. That's associated with nobility you being in a high uh a, a chair a high a, a high seat you having the throne which so-called negroes latinos native and some indians don't have that right now right we're at the bottom so we're not the people in purple and fine linen but this rich man is right and the scripture is about to tell you who, uh who it is go ahead uh revelation 18 and 16 oh, let me pull it up here. and when you read revelation 18 chapter there's no secret what is this talk who this is talking about. It's talking about Babylon the Great, right? Now, you wearing purple and fine linen is the equivalence of wearing YSL, right? Uh Louis Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Balmain, things like that. Go ahead, bro. Hey, Revelation 18, 16, and saying, Alas, alas, that great city. That was clothed in fine linen and purple. See that? That great city. That was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet. Right? This is talking about Babylon the Great. Babylon the Great is this rich man, right? Who, which Babylon the Great is being ran by a company of people, which are the Edomites, man. So this rich man is talking about the Edomites. Go ahead. It says, and scarlet and debt with gold. And precious stones and pearls. Yeah, man, just this this mag this magnificent kingdom or this magnificent this magnificent people, allegedly. Go ahead. It says, "For in one hour, so great riches is come to naught." You see that? So, so this man is rich. He is mm -hmm. rich, but in one hour, because these missiles can get here max thirty minutes. Max 30 minutes. You got missiles that can come here in 15 to 20 minutes. So in one hour, all these riches is coming to naught. This man is going to become poor. Hey, give me Isaiah, the 34th chapter. But but uh, we're going to read it in the uh, NOT, though. Okay. Like, start around 7. Verse 7, it says, even men as strong as wild oxen will die. Mm -hmm. The young men alongside the veterans, the land will be soaked with blood and the soil enriched with fat. Going. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance, mm -hmm. revenge, the year when Edom will be paid back for all it did to Israel. You see that? The year when Edom will be paid back for all it did to Israel. And, 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 and this is talking about when this whole land 
starts to be desolate. Go ahead. It says the streams that eat them will be filled with burning pitch. Go ahead. And the ground will be covered with fire. Go ahead. This judgment on Edom will never, ooh, will never end. Mm -hmm. The smoke of his burning will rise forever. Mm -hmm. The land would lie deserted from generation to generation. No one will live there anymore. No one will live there anymore. Keep going. It says it will be haunted by the desert owl. Jump to verse uh, uh, 12. Verse 12, it says, it will be called <laughs> the land of nothing. <laughs> it will be called the land of nothing. So from riches, so from riches to land of nothing. That's what this place is going to be. Go ahead. And all his nobles will be soon gone. And all the people that was of nobility, all the people that was of, uh, uh, that, 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 had, that had wealth in this place, all you Edomites will be nothing, soon be gone. Just call this land the land of nothing, the scripture said. See that? And that's talking about Edom right there, man. Edom, the Edomites. You will be called the land of nothing. This place that was so rich, right? Clothed in scarlet, clothed in purple, will soon be called the land of nothing. Finish. And all praise to Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shah, man. All praise. Right? Because he's doing he's doing this for first and foremost. His namesake, Yahweh Shah, and us. The Lord has come to redeem his people because it said it. What did it say um up there, bro? What was that, verse uh seven? Or verse, verse eight? Verse seven, yep. Yeah, um, verse eight. Yeah, verse eight. For it is the day of Yahweh's revenge, the year when Edom will be paid back for all it did to Israel. See that? The 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 year. And hey, Lord, Lord uh, Yahweh Ratazah, this is the year. Yahweh Ratazah, right? I'm saying Lord willing, all right? So don't try and you know try to screen record this and see. Not go on, you know, Sakari, they said 2021 is going to be the year. And guess what? They false prophets. They didn't come. Listen, I'm saying Yahweh Ratazah, Lord willing. Lord willing, this is the year that Edom, Adawam, the red people, will be paid back for all it did to Israel. And when I try to look up commentaries on this, no, nobody said that this came to pass. So this is going to happen. No Christian scholar said that this came to pass. And nobody can say it came to pass. Because you can't show me in history where Isaiah the 34th chapter happened. Can't do it. Because that's it. We, we can go back to Luke 16 unless unless you got a precept or a point. Uh, nah, nah. So you hitting on the head. Luke Listen, 16. I, I love doing... Man, if I get... Real fast. Get Amos uh, 3 and 8 real fast. Yeah, yeah. Amos 3 and 8, man. Yo, man, you got to love doing this, man. Yeah. Amos 3 and 8, the lion has roared. Who will not fear? Yeah, man, if a lion war, ain't not somebody gonna be afraid. Yep. Like that's just like something that's mandatory. Somebody's gonna oh snap what the hell. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. The Lord God has spoken. Who can but prophesy? So in the same way, if the Lord has spoken, who can but prophesy? The Lord has spoken. Oh, look, you see this Bible? All oh, Nothing but prophecies in here. Who can but prophesy? Mm -hmm. I'm saying we can do this literally all day. God. You well, you know, I wish I had the spirit without measure like the Lord. I'd be prophesying all day. What? Man. 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 I'll be out there, bro. Yo, bro, I'll be out there 24 hours. <laughs> if I had the spirit without measure, like my, my, nobody would nobody would see me, bro. Nobody would see me except for the public. Mm -hmm. But yeah, let's go back to Luke. Because we're a spectacle. Yeah, kind of theater. Oh. Oh. But yeah, so so read it again. Yeah, uh, verse uh, 19 says, There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen. Yeah, which we know what this rich man is now. Go ahead. And fared sumptuously every day. And now it says they fared sumptuously every day. Let's go into that word. Sumptuously, bro. See what it says. Splendidly, magnificently, a sumptuous living. Right. Then it says, lux then it says luxuriously. Oh, right? yeah. Revelation 18. Luxuriously. Right? So this people is living a luxurious lifestyle. Then after that, get Isaiah, the 47th chapter. 
Okay. You want me to go Revelation first? Yeah, yeah, come on. Yep, yeah, you got it. And then after that, you got Isaiah 47. We're going to start verse 1, then jump down to verse 8. Because this devil, because this Religion. devil fear sumptuously every day, right? Living a luxurious lifestyle, right? Go ahead, bro. Revelation 18 and 9, and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her. Oh, oh, hold, on, hold on, what? It said, and live delicious, deliciously with her. I'm telling you what, that Babylon the Great is living deliciously. And people and other people are living deliciously with her. Go ahead. Says she shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Right, because these different nations ain't gonna be able to make any more money off this devil. Because we because 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 all these nations know that you Americans, you Babylonians, love to spend money every day. You can be last down to your last penny and your ass will spend it. Literally. That's why. A land full of traffic, man. Yeah, exactly. Exactly what it is. You know, you go into the word for sumptuous in the online entomology. It says, it says to borrow, buy, spend. Costly, very expensive, lavish, wasteful. Yo, you can't tell me that this ain't this ain't a, 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 a wasteful kingdom. You can't tell me that this is a very expensive or lavish kingdom. You hey, hey, just go on Instagram. Just go on Facebook. Everybody is so-called living sumptuously. But really dealing with this devil, right? He's really living like this, right? I remember Shumgar, the brother Shumgar in my camp. He told me that this one devil that he was, uh, this one devil that he was doing a job for, bro, he spent like fifty grand on a trip to Hawaii, bro. Fifty grand, bro, fi bro, bro. L let these guys know we take a trip out of town. We checking out. Fifty we, grand, bro. Hey, listen, listen. We go out of town to do the work. We stay checking our bank accounts. Like, hold on, bro. Let me see. <laughs> let me see the bread, right, bro. Yep. Bro, and still have money left over though. This devil is living lavishly, bro. I drive up, I do Instacart, I do Instacart, and brother, I show I showed you the cribs. I I I I I I, I didn't deliver groceries to. I didn't showed you them cribs, cribs big as ever, and a disclosed location and all that. Two a uh, a uh, uh, two two damn garages, right? Big ass backyard. This man is living sumptuously, man. Mm -hmm. Lavishly. Get Isaiah uh forty seven. Yeah. Let's get uh, uh, let's get another witness on Babylon the Great. Uh, Isaiah forty seven. Yeah, servers one. Star yeah, okay. yeah. Come down and sit in the dust, mm -hmm. O virgin daughter of Babylon. So, boom. The context is 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 Babylon. Just for people to know. Now, let's go to verse seven now. <laughs> Seven, it says, and thou said, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst thou remember the latter end of it. Go ahead. Therefore, hear now this, thou that art given to pleasure. See that? Therefore, hear now this, thou that art given to pleasures. And what are pleasures? Right? Living, living luxury. Living, lux, living luxuriously. It says, that dwellest carelessly. And we ain't going to the word for sumptuous. It says what? It says wasteful. That's somebody that's careless, right? Somebody that's wasteful. But it says thou that are given to pleasures. Thou that are given to delicacies. So this devil is is so used to uh, uh, living in pleasures, man. Given to pleasures. And you can tell, bro. You said it. You said the word. You said wasteful, man. Because... <clears throat> You can, bro, like, who throws out most food, bro? So-called Edomites, well, uh, white people, man. Like, you go in their refrigerator, right? They got just leftovers. They just throw it all away, man. Mm -hmm. When they could have given it to the homeless. Or you go into these restaurants, man. They just got piles of food just left over. Yeah, and they could easily real. give it to the homeless. Just throw it out, man. You know, it's wasteful. It's because they have more than their heart's desire. Bro, for real, I, yo... For real, bro, like, 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 bro, these devils really, hey, listen, bro, these devils be crashing their, 
crashing their BMWs. Like, ah, oh, man, I, I just buy a new one. Yep, exactly. All right. that stuff, bro. Exactly. Oh, my insurance guy. But well, hell, yeah. look at us, man. We ain't got no fucking insurance, man. Hey yo, <laughs> hey yo, hey, 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 hey yo, man, be having like crazy ass house parties, right. trashing, trashing the mansion, and and then and then have Zebulon or Issachar come in the next day and clean it all up, and buy and buy everything. Read all, oh, man. Oh man, I, oh man, I just get a new couch. Oh, the, yo, this devil is living. Yo, people don't understand. Man. <laughs> These devils is living, bro. Hey, it's his kingdom. It's yeah, his kingdom. Exactly. Man. Exactly. Beautiful precept. Uh, James 5 and 1 in the NLT it says, Look here, you rich people. Yeah. Weep and groan with anguish because of all the terrible troubles ahead of you. Right? Hey, and they starting to get a little glimpse of it now. And they start watching some of these YouTube channels or or, you know, they see us out in the street corners and we bring it straight out the Bible that they so-called believe in. Hey, they actually, some of them are actually starting getting terrified, man. Hell yeah. Right? And they see, you know what I'm saying, how they how their nation is crumbling. You got, once again, damn hillbillies running up in, in their nation's capital and wrecking that thing. Right? Once again, you need no further evidence to prove to you that America's on her last leg. All right, it says, verse 2, it says, your wealth is rotting away. Why is that? Why is your wealth rotting away? Because of the way you obtained it, man. The Most High is going to uphold that wealth. He says he's going to cast it out of your belly. He says, and your fine clothes, look at that. That's going to what? The uh, That fine linen and that scarlet that, that the rich man had on. He says, and your fine clothes are moth-eaten rags. You know, Hey, listen, you, you, know, you know what that's called? Riches to yeah. rags, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> riches to rags. Oh, you know, you know that saying from rags to riches. Yep. From yep. riches yep. to rags. Let me let me go ahead and look up that saying. From riches. Uh, you want to pull it up on here? Oh yeah, God, you God. From riches to yep. rags, meaning. <laughs> Damn. Not you know so crazy. I pulled that out. I pulled it out at camp last week, but I read it in the King James Version. But the N-O-T, okay. N-O-T said, ah, ah, ah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Hey, look at this. You got the poor man. You got the rich man. Ooh. That's rich, rich man. That's cold. That's through the spirit. I read it, though. I read it. It says, people who, it says, people who rise from rags to riches are often afraid. The good life will be, will be snatched away from. Ain't that Esau? Yep. That's yep. Esau, bro. Esau be a, be terrified of of like yo, all my riches being taken away because they can't fathom being that because they don't got the fortitude mm -hmm. like like Jake like us, bro. We just like all right, man. We lose it. We lose it because we just so used to being down and oppression and all that. We like all right, man. We yep. lose it. We lose it. Esau them off himself. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I was watching. I don't know if you've seen this. Uh, seen this series on Netflix. Um, what's that? What's that thing called, man? American Dreamers or something like that. What, what's that show it. called? I seen it. All American. All American. You seen that, John? Mm -hmm. Nah, I ain't seen it. Oh, all right. Look, all right. Look. Look. So you, yo, so it was Edomite. So, so, so basically, man, this Jake, right? He was good at playing football. He moved to Beverly Hills and all that, right? Uh, and it was either my name Asher, right? So basically, like something happened with his family, they had to downgrade a house, right? And mm. and like they got a whole divorce over that, bro. Bro, the house still look a million trillion <coughs> times better than than uh than Jake. Mm -hmm. He just downgraded a little bit, and it's like all oh, hell broke loose between his family. That lets you know that these devils, they can't uh, take being reduced down to a low state. So, bro, Edomite's going to be committing suicide left and right in our kingdom. Yep. Because I'm telling you, man, you devils is going to be so goddamn poor in the kingdom. Bro, it's, bro, you you think Jake is poor? No, 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 no. Y'all ass is going to be so goddamn poor. Y'all gonna go back to the caveman era. Bro, bro, it's gonna be worse than that, bro. It says people some it says people sometimes use the expression riches to rags to mean that you oh, read the first part again. Oh alright, guys. It says people who rise from rags to riches 
are often afraid the good life will be snatched away from them. Yeah, so that's obviously Esau eat them today, right? But when when Jake, when we when we rise from the rags to the riches, when we get into that kingdom, we ain't gotta be afraid, man, because he said that the kingdom's gonna last forever. Come. The world without you know? So we're gonna be we're gonna rest assured knowing that our wealth is never gonna rot away. Right. Because what was that? Um who was that? He said, um, oh man, what was that? He said you got a, a treasure laid up. I, that was that was first Peter. First Peter. Oh, oh, come First Peter uh one and verse uh, uh -huh. four. Peter one, look at this. One and four, he says, to an inheritance incorruptible, undefiled. And that faith is not away. Yeah, that's that treasure that's never going to fade away. Where is it at? Reserved in heaven, meaning reserved in these high places in the kingdom for you. It says, who are kept by the power of God, man. So is this these riches is kept by the power of God. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's his. He gives it to whosoever he wants to. Right? Mm -hmm. It says, through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Mm -hmm. Right? And I got to Another preset I want to snag real quick. Come is it Haggai uh, two and uh, I love that eight. precept in first. I always I always pull that in First Peter, man. Beautiful, uh, kind man. Of, Beautiful yep. precept. Beautiful. Because we gotta remember these riches. It's the Most High's man, right? He used your house shot to create all the elements, right? Your house shot created the gold, the silver, aluminum, uh, zinc, magnet, all these elements, right? So with him being Lord and chief over it. He gives it to whosoever he wants, right? But now he's giving it to, to Israel, what well, is being translated to Israel, right? And it's going to stay in our hands forever, right? You're going to have brothers decked out in the kingdom, got all type of gold rings on, you know what I'm saying? They they, they wives, you know what I'm saying? They decked out. And we're going to have them on forever, man, right? This Haggai 2 and 8 says, the silver is mine and the gold is mine. Yeah, it's not yours, Esau. It's the Lord's. He says, saith Yahweh hopes the glory of this latter house shall be greater than other former. Yeah, so so the temple that, that King Solomon built, all right, although, you know, during King Solomon's reign, we had gold and, and silver in the streets like it was dust, right? But it's going to be even greater than that, all right? He says, save your Howell host, and in this place will I give peace, save your Howell host. Amen. Yeah, the second part, it says, um, no, people sometimes use expression riches to rags to mean that you have been very rich but have lost a lot of money and so have become poor. The country went from riches to rags and the generation is right, man. <laughs> riches to rags and the generation. Yo, yo, bro, that yo, that might be that yo, that might be the title of this video. From riches yeah. to rags. Yo. So yep. called black and Latino. And the so called, yo, that video might get taken down. That, I, uh, expect, hey, straight like, up, bro. Because, <laughs> man, hey, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's got any connection, but you see this word idiom? Yeah. I wonder if the, the, the prefix got anything rooted to I, I do me. I do me. We just have to see. And yeah, just have to see. You want me to go back to James? Um, if you want, if, if that was, if, 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 if you want to keep going on that. Yeah, come on, come on. Because it, it kind of ties into everything. He says, your gold and your silver have become worthless. The very wealth you were counting on, right, will eat away your flesh like fire. Right? And they're counting on their wealth right now, man. But they already understand that their wealth is not backed by anything, man. It's not backed by any gold. Right? And it's, this is actually going to be... They're they're ruined, their demise, man. And it's gonna eat away their flesh. Like fire. And what's that fire? Those those missiles, man. All right. He says, This treasure you have accumulated will stand as evidence against you on the day of judgment. Why is that? Because it was unjustly gotten. All right, because according to the law, if you uh if you hire out a servant, you gotta pay him every day. Yeah. You can't hold back his wages. Oh, I'm gonna pay you every other week. Yeah. You know, or on the fifteenth and the thirtieth of each month. True. Hey, bro, that's why he says it's going to stand evidence against you. And this is another way how the earth is defiled. Of course, the blood, but also because they just simply broke the laws in general. That's And it's going back to Wisdom of Solomon 6. He says, because the judges of this world have, have basically judged unrightly, it's going to be a sharp rebuke. 
let's see, where is it? Um, Isaiah 24. Isaiah 24 and, and 5. He says, the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they transgress the laws, right? What was one of the laws in, in regards to how you accumulate your wealth, right? Once again, when you, when you, um, when you hire out a servant, you got to pay them every day, all right? You can't deprive a man of his bread. Because Sirach, what was that, Sirach uh, 24 or 19, he says uh, that the, uh, let me get that real quick. Let me get that real quick. And while you get that, I'm going to bring this up. Proverbs um, 22 and, and verse 16. It says, he that oppresseth the poor to increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to want. So you got two get you got two categories of people that will come to want one. One that oppresses the poor to increase his riches, and one that give it to the rich. But the main thing what I'm harping on is is the first. He that oppresses the poor to increase his riches. And that's what the, that's what the Edomites did. They oppressed so called blacks and Latinos, Native Americans, so that their increase so that the riches can increase. So now you in return is surely gonna come to want. Say it, say it, the Bible. See all the so the the Bible is just totally against you so called white people, man. That's why you don't. That's why you don't believe in it, right? right? That's why you don't believe. Like like this one devil came to us at camp yesterday. Ill mm. man, ill man. The spirit had me. This spirit had me walk him down so good. This man, <laughs> this man said. So, why am I an Edomite? And bro, mm. I brought him all the way back to Cain. I brought him all the way back to Cain, that Genesis 4. And just when I was about to get to Esau, he said, all right, you know, I'm done. He scrammed. <laughs> you don't want to hear that judgment, man. Yeah, yeah, devil, go ahead. Oh, uh, shoot. Yeah, this is Sirach 34 and 21. He says, um, yeah, Sirach 34 and 20, let's see, 20, yeah, 21. He says, the bread of the needy is their life. Yeah. And who's the needy? so-called black hispanic and native americans because we've been deprived of everything right our bread whether it's our physical bread or, or just that money you know what i'm saying this is our life right it says he that defrauded him thereof is a man of blood who's that man of blood esau all right <laughs> he shows blood through the countenance because he's just a bloody man so he's the one who defrauds of, of, of our blood bread and he's that rich man is going in is in this parable also babylon man yeah, what's that? Uh, sorry, right, 34 and what? And 21. God. It says, uh, this treasure, and, and, and let me prove that through the law real quick. It's uh, Deuteronomy. What was that? Deuteronomy 24. Yeah, 24 and 15. It says, I'm going to start at verse 14. Thou shalt not oppress and hire servant that is poor and needy. All right, and that's you withholding our bread from us. He says, whether he be of thy brethren or of thy strangers that are in thy land within thy gates. Now, this is this law was given to the Israelites, right? But obviously, these so-called uh what the uh, Esau Edom, they don't keep this law, man. He says, At his day, thou shalt give him his hire. So that day that we work for you, all right, you gotta give us a hire. Neither shall the sun go down upon it, for he is poor and setteth his heart upon it. Now check this out. It says, lest he cry against thee until Yahweh, and it be sin unto thee. Yo. Bro, do we not cry each and every day? Man, Lord, just give me, some, you know what I'm saying? Let me have a way. Let me, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What are we going to eat today? Yo, that right, is, we? bro, that is Jake to the max, bro. Like, bro, Jake be, oh, yo, bro, Jake be hoping on, on his check. Yo. What? What yo, bro? Jake be hoping on that money, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. That is crazy. That and this is, is why it's sin to Esau, man. Damn. Cause the Lord been hearing our cries, man. Damn. That just hit home. <sighs> Shoot, that's the everyday life of so-called blacks, Latinos, Native, Native and Seminole Indians. Yo. Everyday life. Damn, bro. Yo. Especially when Jake and put in. Especially when Jake put in all them hours. <laughs> and don't get nothing for that whole day, man. Mm. He got to go to a damn uh, what is it called uh, 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 a loan business, you know what I'm saying? Just for them to tax him interest, you know, so he could pay off his car note or or, or pay his rent. 
Or he got to sell the drugs. Get his check. Yeah, by the time he get his check, now he got, you know, interest stacked up on interest, man. From who he loaned from. Now he's just even further in debt. And now he crying to the Lord even more, which is more sin stacked up on these devils. Or, or the man got to sell drugs, bro. I was watching uh, Central Park 5. I don't know if you've seen it. Central Park mm-hmm. 5. You ain't see Central Park 5? Are you talking about uh, where they falsely accused him of rape? Yeah, yeah, them brothers. Yeah. Bro, I was watching the documentary, bro, and, and this and this and, and this Ephraimite, right? You already know, bro. You you damn labeled as a as a damn rapist or sex offender, bro. Bro, it's gonna be hard for you to get any job. Right? But you know, as 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 we believe firmly that they were wrongly accused of it, right? So, you know, he was trying to get jobs, but bro, like he just couldn't get any. And the type of environment he was around. Right, he was in a hood where it was drug drug dealers around there. What you think? What you think he did? He started to sell yep. drugs, bro. He couldn't, bro. He like, like he couldn't get hired. And guess what? He ended up back. He ended up back in prison. And that's what Jake is reduced to, bro. Like, damn, bro, I can't get hired to no job. You know, baby mom, baby mom harassing you on your back, trying to put you on child support, stuff like that, mm-hmm. telling you you ain't shit every day, and all oh, those, like, what, like, what you think Jake is going to do? You know what I'm saying? Jake's like, well, shoot, man, I, like, I, I guess I just got to, I just got to track. That's why these devils, that's why these devils going to pay, bro, because they make life harder. And here, and Jake, and you, Jake's want to save, save, save the so-called white man. Are you crazy? These devils ain't getting no salvation. These devils are going to slavery, bro. You know, hardcore, every, rig- every single last one of them. In a hardcore, rigorous slavery, too. Yep. So I'm talking about, bro, remember when we, we was working from can't see to can't see? It's really going to be can't see to can't see for these devils. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about the whip is going to continue, going to be continually on a back. And why not? It was on our. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm gonna put a crown of thorns on y'all niggas, and let's see, and, and, and let's see how that feels. Yep. Go ahead, man. Uh, yo, bro, these devils just don't know, bro. Like we, yo, bro, like, bro, that spirit, yo, that spirit is in us, man. I can't wait for Lord to draw it out, bro. To uh, fully draw it out of us. Yep. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Uh, bring that out. And, and uh, so yeah, because because we cry against cry against um, you know, this man that so called hired us out, and he hasn't paid us our, our wages, our according to the law. That's why it says it stands evidence against you on the day of judgment. So the very fact that you still got <laughs> Jake's check, right, it, on your sitting on your office desk when your house shot come back, that's evidence against you, man. That check should have been in our bank accounts, man. Right. And then at First that, and then at that, it's crumbs anyway, bro. Exactly, bro. And it, it, like, 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 either way, you put it, your asses is still robbing us anyway, cause you ain't really paying for all of our work, bro, mm-hmm. bro, bro. They take, bro, they take taxes out. That's that's stealing, and that's a form of oppression. When you read Matthew the um seventeenth chapter, that's stealing. Mm-hmm. You're taking money. Out of my paycheck, that's stealing. Why? If this was such a free country, right? Why don't I have a say so in that? If if this country is so goddamn free, why can't I say no? Uh, I don't want you know. You know how when they have the option if you want to donate at the store at the at, at the joint, they be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How come? Yeah. How come that's not an option for us? Mm-hmm. No, oh, yeah. Uh, do you want taxes? No, we don't. We want everything. Cause you work. What? What? You let's just say you worked 180 hours this week. Yo, Jake. Oh yeah, man. I would. I worked that overtime. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get this. My check. My check gonna be 1,200. You get that John bad? That's just say 700 dollars. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you like yo? What the? Yo, like, bro. Cause I didn't had that done to me. I'm like, yo, what the hell? 
Because the more you work, the more they take out. Devils. Man, hey, hey, just, hey, bro, think about this, right? Even if you go on a on a on a damn game show like Steve Harvey or whatever, right? And and, and you and your family win, they gonna tax that. Oh hell yeah, they taxing that. You already know they taxing that. It's like for what though, man? Like I won this. Yeah. Yeah, you know? exactly. Oh, you know, it's for the betterment of the roads. Man, I still driving these roads. My car in potholes and... Right. <laughs> like... Oh, my goodness, bro. But, hey, when I go to these devil's neighborhoods, man, I could do I could do 80, no problem. Smooth roads. <laughs> man, yo. Hey, all the street lights, all the lights still work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Oh. They got the fancy signs with the with the blinking red around the around the edges. Yo, man, yo, bro, these hey, these devils just don't know, man. They just don't know. Go ahead, bro. It says, "For listen, hear the cries of the field workers, translation field niggas, mm -hmm. whom you have cheated of their pay. Yeah, according to the law, you cheated the field workers of their pay." Verse, uh, it says, "The wages you held back cry out against you." And we still haven't gotten so-called reparations till today. So according to, to the Bible that they say they believe in, right? Well, hey, man, the wages cried against America, man, that they held back. It says the cries of those who harvest your fields have reached the ears of the Lord of heaven's armies. Right? <laughs> it says the cries of those who harvest your fields. Who, who harvested America's fields, man? My forefathers, your forefathers, right? And it's reached the, the ears of your howl. Why? Because it says when they cry out against you, right? It's evidence against you and it's sin unto you. And then it, and then it knows the Lord of heaven's armies, meaning that he's coming back for war, man. All right, verse five, it says, you have spent your years on earth in luxury. Going back. That's the rich man. Yeah, that's the rich man. That's the rich man. You gotta spend your years, your years on earth in luxury. And that's and that's fact. The so-called white man has had the longest rulership than anybody else on the planet Earth. The longest. Starting with the Greeks, then the Romans, then came back NATO, NATO, NATO in the EU was headed by America. I'll be right back. I, I gotta use your the revised Roman Empire. You devils had the longest rulership. Matter of fact, let me see. How long has America... How long has America existed? Right, so America is 273 years old as of 2019. So now we're in 2021. Add two years to that, 245. Right, that is a long time, two hundred forty-three years in rulership, and then, let me see. How long was the uh, Western Roman? How long? Did you want me? Hold on. How? All right. So, boom. The Western Roman Empire. The Western Roman Empire lasted a thousand years. Dang. America been around for 245 years. Then, let's see, how long did the Greek Empire last? 350 years. So just add all those things together, bro. What you got? 1,000 plus, it's a roughly, plus 350 plus... 245. A thousand a thousand five hundred and ninety-five years of rulership. Ooh. Wow. And probably more. Yeah. Probably more. But the point is, you devils has been in rulership longer than anybody else. You have spent all your years on earth in and luxury. That's why these devils just can't fathom the fact that they're about to go down. Like what? Like, like they like they were like, what, bro? We've been in rulership for all these years. Westernized culture dominates the whole entire planet Earth. You, and now you honestly think it's going to change now? That's what these devils think. Hey, give me Job. Give me Job um, 40 and 12.
Yeah, I'm gonna read it. Job okay. 14, 12. Matter of fact, start at start at verse eleven. What one? Job forty. Okay, boom. Says, yeah. Y'all got Is it. it what? Oh, y'all got it. Okay. All right, boom. Job forty eleven says, "Cast abroad the rage of thy wrath." And behold, everyone that is proud and abase them. So the Lord is going to look on everybody. That, the Lord is just looking at everybody that is proud. And he's going to abase them. What does the word abase mean? To make low. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. It says, look on everyone that is proud and bring him low. And tread down the wicked in their place. And the wicked is going to be tread down in Basra. The Lord says he has a great sacrifice in Basra. It says, hide them in the dust together. And bind their faces in secret. So yeah, so these devils, they're gonna be they're gonna be treaded down, man. Plain and simple. All the wicked, all the prideful people is gonna be made abased. Oh. You got it. Yeah. Yeah, like the brother was saying, man, they they like we just pulled up, you know what I'm saying? A, a, a rough general time frame, how long they've been in rulership was fit uh one thousand five hundred and ninety five years. Yeah. And like when they see all these things happening, right? They they still can't fathom that their kingdom is about to fall, man. Right. And this is why Psalm forty nine eleven says their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after, they call their lands after their own names, right? You know. So this is this is how uh, Esau thinks, man, because he's so prideful, think that. <laughs> That the earth is going to continually be his, man. So he set his nest here, right, and calls it. He he calls everything after his own name. He got right. the streets named after him, Washington, uh, Washington Road, you mm -hmm. know, Carver Boulevard, you know, America. They made, it, exactly, exactly. They made this their nest, man. When in old in, in, in uh, when in actuality is the most high's nest, man. He's just letting you borrow it. That's right. You want me to finish this out in James? Or yeah, go back come, to yeah, come, yep. Come on, James 5 and 5, it says, You have spent your years on earth in luxury, satisfying your every desire. Mm, satisfying your... Yo, any of these devils? Man. Damn. Man. That is... Yo, that is... Satisfying... Their every desire, bro. If they, if, bro, if they want to take a trip to Puerto Rico, they can. Yep. If they want to buy, if this devil want to buy a hundred prostitutes, he can. Exactly. If this devil want to go and ball out at the uh at 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 the, at the Gucci store, he can. I'll be shopping for these devils, and bro, the prices of their groceries, three hundred dollars, all that stuff, they carts be filled up, bro. And I would just be looking at the cribs that they be in. It's like, damn. Damn, they so decked out. Go ahead, man. Yep. Yeah, and, I, and, I don't envy, and I don't envy you devils. I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get it twisted. I don't envy you devils. You devils really envy us. Yep. But go ahead. Yep. And satisfying your every desire. And going to like, like the bro saying, man, like they, every lust that they got, it, it, it's itch, man. It's scratch. By however type of mechanism they got, like say, like bro, they got dating uh, websites. If you want to fucking date a dog, man, you know. If you want to marry a tree, you can make <laughs> that happen <laughs> here in Babylon. Straight up, you know, this is sick and twisted, man. You know, so they satisfy every desire that they have, man. You know, like you said, they want a, a thousand prostitutes, they'll get it. You know, it says you have fattened yourselves for the day of slaughter. Right, and that day of slaughter, <laughs> that's coming, man. Yeah, con. It says I have a sacrifice in Basra. That that day of slaughter, because it tells you it, it tells you that in Isaiah thirty four, it says it, it says the Lord had had the sacrifice in Basra, the lambs, uh, the the goats, and all that. It's like you eat them mites into sacrificial animals. Con. Yeah, that day of slaughter was in Zephaniah one and nine. Let's see. Yeah, well, you said it. Yeah, Isaiah 34. Yeah, that's good. One. Let me see. I, I know it's somewhere in Zechariah, too. You know what I'm talking about? I think you just passed it. 
I did. Yeah. I did see Sacrifice up there somewhere early, like eight or seven. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Zephaniah 1 and 7. Hold thy peace at the presence of your high power. For the day of the Lord is at hand. For the Lord hath prepared a sacrifice. He hath bid his guests. Who's those guests that he bid? Hey, man, his enemies. The ones who made spoil of, uh, of the Israelites. That's those guests that he's bidden. All right. Verse, uh, verse 6 it says, You have condemned and killed innocent people. All right, that happens every day in, the, in their court law, in their courtrooms, man. They, right. they constantly condemn innocent Jakes, man, who hasn't done anything. And it says, who do not resist you. Now, as a matter of fact, yeah, they don't resist you, man. As a matter of fact, they vouch for you. They, they Jakes plead for you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, give them salvation. All right? We have no <laughs> you know? power. We have no power. Jake don't have no power to resist this devil. But, but, is, but it is going to come a time where you know, you know, Lord going to put a spirit on Jake. It says that for Judah, for Judah, uh, for Judah is a lion, but who shall rise him up? Damn, we didn't even get past verse one. Damn. <laughs> Yo, no cat. Damn, damn, <laughs> damn. We only on verse nineteen. Oh snap! Damn, and it's been it's been over an hour. Yo, damn! Hours seven minutes. <laughs> yeah, damn. All right, well, <laughs> let's go ahead. <laughs> Dude, that is too funny, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, hey, all that off that one word, sumptuous. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Kind of exactly. Yep, yep. Verse twenty says, "And there is a certain beggar named Lazarus." Right, and when you go into the word for Lazarus, or the name Lazarus is Allah Izar in the Hebrew, which means whom God helped, right? And who is the most I'm going to help? Get Isaiah 41. Yep, I just had that, bro. Yep, Con, see that? Isaiah 41 and 12. Oh, Con. 14. Con, yep. It says, fear not, thou worm Jacob. Now, 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 why is it calling, now why does the Lord call us a worm? A worm, a, a worm is uh, a small a worm needs help, man. Right? Mm -hmm. and helpless. Powerless. Yeah, exactly. Helpless and powerless. That's why the Lord is liking us into a worm. Go ahead. And we have no covering. Because like it's kind of like a turtle without a damn shell, man. Mm. You know? Somebody just come up, come over there and tread on you and yeah. squash you. Yeah, exactly, bro. It's so easy for me to walk outside and just step on a worm. Mm -hmm. It's just that easy. Oh, a worm? Oh, let me just step on him. That's it. That's why the Lord is, is is calling us a worm. We're liking us unto worm because we're powerless. We're um hopeless. Oh, and think of it this way: worms, right? They're they're uh they're food for who? Birds. Yeah, bird. Ooh, the eel. Ooh, that's cold. <laughs> that is cold. Damn, that's damn, that's cold. Come, come. It says, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, save your howl, and thy redeemer. He said, yeah. He says, I will help thee. Exactly. Exactly, I will help thee. So, so that's how we know Lazarus is dealing with the Israelites, whom God helps, because the Most High is finna help the Israelites. The Lord is finna help us out, you know, by giving us that power. Oh, to save you, Howard, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. All right, back to Luke sixteen, and uh, what was that? Uh, yeah, verse twenty. Yep. Oh, yeah, matter of fact, let's go into that word for the beggar. Beggar. Okay. All right. Let me search beggar. Yeah, re Ooh. Reduced to beggary. Begging, asking alms. Yeah, yeah, bro. Asking alms. W wasn't Jay just asking this devil for alms not too long ago? Yeah, yo, let me get that $600. Let me get that $2,000. Uh, 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 what's that? The, um, the package? Mm -hmm. Let's get that. You so go black lights, you know, you beg. And like the brother said earlier, oh matter of fact, this go back to the curses. Let's go ahead and get uh Deuteronomy 28 and, and um and 47. 48. Yeah. Okay, but bro, I man, that's a spirit, bro. I just <laughs> see hey. Because it says lacking in anything. Yep. This all goes back to the curses. So this is how you know Lazarus is symbolized or is being used as a, as a uh a metaphor for Israelites, man. You so-called blacks and Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians. Because anything 
that you need, you go and beg the so-called white man for. You go to Walmart. You're begging the so-called white man. Oh, uh, let me go ahead and get this food. Let me go ahead and get this shirt. Because it all comes from him. And it, and the curse is about, is about to demonstrate that. Go ahead, bro. Deuteronomy 28 and 47, he says, Because thou servest not Yahweh thy power with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things, mm -hmm. therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, yep. which, which Yahweh shall send against thee. Yep. And hunger. And hunger. Got to go to the devil for food. Right, no matter, no matter what you guys say, or no, no matter if you grow, let's grow our own food. Okay, where are you getting your seeds from? You're right. Number one, You're right. where are you getting the land from? Because you got to go to this devil. You got to pay taxes for this devil for the land. Mm -hmm. And then you got to ask him for a permit to even grow something. Man. Oh, see, exactly. All goes back starting your own so-called business. You still got to pay taxes. To, to the so-called white man, either way. And check this out. Even if, if you if you grow something, right? Let's say for, even in, in your own backyard and you don't have, like, a, a permit or whatnot, man. Guess what? That food is theirs. Mm. Mm. Hey, you know what? You know what? Um, a modern day in Manhattan right now, in New York, right? Mm -hmm. uh, um, damn, what's that park called? Central Park. In Central, Central Park. Park. Yeah, mm -hmm. it really was called Seneca Village, right? And mm -hmm. like the, uh, I think, I think, I think it was about like the eighteen hundreds. Jake originally was living there. It's called Seneca Village, but Esau came and said, "Listen, we can come and take it down because we just can. Is in our gov is 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 our government rights?" And they turned it to Central Park, modern day Central Park. Wow. So this devil can just come in, right, to Jake's uh uh to, to where to where Jake live at, tell Jake to get it get up out of there, destroy it, and turn it into a park. That's how much power this devil has, man. See? This man's the devil. Jake Jake a lot of these a lot of these places where uh where 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 where, where Esau live at, we we were we were we were the original founders of it, man. Mm -hmm. And these devils just come up, destroy it, and change the name so nobody knows about it. Right. That's what he did. This, this guy's a devil, man. A real goddamn devil. He casts darkness over everything. Yeah, man. Make it, you forget. Hey, yeah, bro. And make you ask, make you ask, forget. That's why. That's why Jake's gotta gotta um research certain things, man. But yeah, bro, go ahead. He says, and in thirst. Yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah. He wants some water. And hey, you came and collect rainwater. It's illegal. Oh yeah, yeah, con. <laughs> oh, bro. Oh, bro. What water that falls out the sky, man. <laughs> he say, I own that. Yep, they own every. Yo, soon, man. Soon, man. They gonna say that uh, they own the air. You can You have to pay to breathe air. Bro, you gotta pay for air to put in your tires, man. Well, are they getting that air? They just they're pumping that air from from the outside into that little machine, but you gotta pay for it, man. Oh wow, that's crazy. That is nuts. He says, "Ain't in nakedness." Yep, close. Mm -hmm. And in want of all things, everything, every single thing, everything. You gotta go to this devil for your liquor. Shoot. Your damn blunts that you niggas like to roll up, roll your damn weed in, everything you got to go to this devil for. Your housing, yeah, food, yeah, like you said, public housing, yeah, yeah, man, public housing, right? Which, which, which to get the public housing, the man can't even be around. You want your, you want your damn EBT, right? All those things, the man can't even be around. See that. Wow. Yeah. This is this is this is this is literally this is Lazarus right here, man. The bet I mean, if you think about it, Doc, if you think about it, with the man can't be around in the spiritual sense, you can't have your house shower around in your house, right? If you want to eat or drink in these last days if you if, if you don't get that chip. And that's and that's a form of begging. Yep. yep. You're gonna be begging this white man to eat and this eat. 
If if uh if you if you don't take you 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 taking that chip is you begging begging the white man to eat, which means what right. niggas don't got no integrity, man. Yep. Okay. Yeah, man. Yep. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he had destroyed thee. Yeah, we already know. Hey, man, we already know who who that's who that's talking about. Right. Like nobody else had a yoke of iron around their neck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah, man. See that? Hey, look at that. It said helpless and powerless, bro. When when yep. you go back to beggar, mm -hmm. you see helpless, powerless, <laughs> poor, needy, lacking in any, lacking in anything, wanting Ooh. all things. Hey, look at this down here. Destitute of wealth, of learning, and intellectual culture. Mm. Who doesn't know about their culture? Damn. Bro, Jer Jeremiah 17, 4. Damn. A, Look at that, thou bro. thou thyself shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause you to serve your enemies in the land which I know is not. For you have a kindle of the fire of my anger which shall burn forever. All right? And that's us being destitute of what? Our culture. And Wait. that's how we got destroyed. Like, uh, like, um... Deuteronomy 28 and 48 said. We're not the but we're not the Israelites though, I <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're just what? we're just making all this shit up. We're not the Israelites. Wow. Man. Yep. But yeah, bro, go ahead. You need no further proof, man. This is how we was destroyed, man. Because we didn't know who we didn't know who he was, man. Right. And while yet we was going to this man, right? And this man uh, uh, giving us, well, we had to go to him for education. When we went to his educational system, he told us that we're Hamites, you know? Mm -hmm. We're not Israelites. We are not. We don't come from the line of Shem, you know? He says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. That's how we got destroyed. He put those shackles upon your, uh, up on your feet and, and yokes of iron upon your neck until he destroyed you mentally, man. He took away the men from your household, he got a uh, mother and daughter at variance against each other, right? Sons and uh, fathers at variance against each other, man, right? He says, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest in me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. So once again, it's just these curses hitting us, man. Yeah, how side gave gave the breakdown of the curses in that parable, bro. He did. He, he did. did. He did. Yep. Straight up. All right, boom. We have verse twenty. <laughs> yeah, verse uh, yeah twenty. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we went to that word beggar, helpless or powerless one, mm -hmm. which is Israel, mm -hmm. um, which was laid at his gate. Full of sores. Mm -hmm. How do we get those sores? Our enemies put them uh, whips on our backs, man. It says, and desiring to be fed with crumbs. Yeah, that's going to that word for crumbs. Beautiful. And desiring to be fed with crumbs. Wow, bro. A little more, a little morsel. It's a little bit. You think. Niggas was getting that P niggas was getting that POA money that ten thousand dollars. I'm up, I'm up. Nigga, you ain't up. Mm. That's a crumb compared to what these devils got. LeBron James. Nigga, you ain't rich. You can lose that all tomorrow. You getting fed crumbs. Right? Listen. Listen, bro. You got certain Jakes. You've been working what? 50, 60 years of your life, Esau makes what you made your whole entire life of working <laughs> in one day. <laughs> bro. <laughs> like you just said, that dude, he went to Hawaii and spent 50 grand. Bro, that's basically more than what I'm making a year, man. Bro, that is nuts, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> That's that's more than a whole household, bro. 
Oh kid over. my god. We laughing. It's just crazy, bro. Yep. Yo, yo, look at the uh 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 look at the idiom of crumbs, bro. Oh my goodness, bro. That shit is crazy. Yo, I go into the I go into the it's a module, it's a small particle of a bread. Mm. It didn't really say anything for that. No, fragment of bread or other food, small fragment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah mm. man, that's us. Hold on, expression. Uh, yeah, didn't really. See. I didn't really say anything. But you guys know what crumbs mean. Yo, it says of poor quality, bro. Of poor quality. Idioms.thefreedictionary.com. It says of poor quality. Now, I'm going to show you how. Of poor quality, right? You want to share your screen? Like I said, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I had, I, I had got it on my phone. Oh, okay. like I said, I do Instacart, right? I do Instacart, and you know, brothers that live in Pennsylvania, Philly, you already know what places I'm talking about. Acme, Giant, Shoprite. I be going to Abington. I be going to Roxborough. Anywhere where these Edomites live at, and. Their foods is high quality as hell. Everything. Organic everything. Oh, Wegmans. Mm. High quality everything. But you go to store, Jake stores in the hood, GMO everything. Poor quality. We get the crumbs. We get all we get we get all the foods that is going to um hire our uh uh uh, uh rate of dying. But these devils, they they get the high quality things. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the streets, low quality, poor quality streets, poor quality homes, poor quality neighborhoods. Why these devils have everything? Yo, this parable is coming to life, bro. Yep. It applies to us. And then you read what? So right, forty eighteen. It says, "My son lived not a beggar's life." And we're living a beggar's life, bro. But, but listen, it's all about to change as we keep reading down in the parable. But go mm -hmm. ahead, bro. Yeah, Deuteronomy 28, 43, the stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. That's us, man. All right. So, uh, yeah, verse 21 says, And desire to be fed with crumbs, which fell from the rich man's table. Mm -hmm. Moreover, the dogs came and licked up his sword. And this is why, this is why it's imperative for us to be eating off of whose table? Yahweh Shah's table and wisdom's tables, man. All right. It's uh, Psalm 23. And, uh, and five, he says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. All right, so while all this is going on, man, yeah, this is why Yahweh Shah, he, when he came on the scene, he did what? He gave people bread. He gave us that, that, that true morsel of bread that will actually satisfy our needs, man, to bring us back to life. All right. Yo, listen, man, and the rich man's table, you already know. Now, now, mind you, this is a parable. So just picture a rich man having a banquet. Matter of fact, have you ever watched the movie Shrek? When Shrek went to go to to his ribs uh, crib, and they had the mm -hmm. big feast at the table, table uh -huh. was filled with nothing but all this crazy amount of food, bro. And just imagine, just imagine a table full of food. I'm I'm put the tum tum mo candy yams, big turkey, and all those. Just picture, just picture that, and you just take a piece of a uh, a, a piece of, of chicken off a bone and just give it, you know, to the dog on the ground. Out of bro, bro, out of everything on the table, all this food that you're not even going to eat tonight, all this food that you finna waste, this finna just be in the fridge. You can't give me more. 
Because you got more, you can get more. Mm -hmm. But this little, bro, you don't even give me the meat, you just give me the skin. The little skin off the chicken bone, that's what you're going to give to me? A little crumb, a little crumb from the uh, from, from the cornbread, that's what you're going to give to me? I'm talking about the cornbread, the, the, the crumbs that just fall off when you, mm -hmm. when you break it. That's what you're going to give to me? That's it. That's all your paychecks. That's yeah. that's the neighborhoods that you live in. That's the food that you get. That's the clothes. That's the uh. That's the schools that you go to. Cause cause you even gotta live in a certain district. I don't know how it is over there in Dallas, but you have to live in a certain district to be able to go to uh, uh certain schools. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the same way. Over. That's predominantly uh uh. Uh, that predominantly so-called white people go to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to falsify uh, <laughs> my address in order to go to a better school. Yeah, so-called. See, I see a lot. I see a, a lot of Jake's. A lot of Jake's um does that. A lot of Jake's does that. Huh? Yes, you going, bro? Yep. Verse twenty-one: and desire to be fed with crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sword. Yeah, talking about these uh, different nations. Go ahead. It says, and it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. Yeah, man, that's talking about, and that and that's talking about the kingdom, man. Right? The land of Israel. Go ahead. And the rich man also died and was buried. Right, so these two, so, 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 so these two people died, right? Go ahead. And in hell, he lifted up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. Yeah, so, yeah, the thing that messed me up about this, how are you in hell, and you still got eyeballs, and you're, <laughs> and you're, and you're just looking up? And to look up, you gotta have a, a head and a neck to look up. But I thought you are in hell, though, Ock. <laughs> By the time you hit the fire, all, like, bro, like, your body parts, your skin, everything should be sh should be gone. Mm -hmm. So how is this man in hell? This is talking about Esau's. Uh, 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 this is talking about our kingdom, which is going to be the so-called white man's hell, man, with the rest of you nations. Our kingdom is going to be your hell. Matter of fact, what's let's look up that expression. Living yeah, in I hell. Got real quick. All right, come. On. So basically, yeah. So wow. So wow. The uh, the rich man was laying in hell or whatnot, right? Or in the grave. He's still desiring to to kind of have that alleviation, man. Even though he lived his fattest life, this is Proverbs twenty seven to twenty it says, "Hell and destruction are never full, so the eyes of man are never satisfied." Even though this man had his whole life full of satisfaction, right? Even though he's in hell, bro, his eyes are still not satisfied, man. See? Yo, so the expression, yo, man, yo, yo, this idioms, the idiom dot free dictionary dot com really hit home. So, a living hell, it says a condition or a place of acute misery and distress. The expression uses hell in the sense of the afterwards place of eternal, yeah, not that, but yeah, a condition of place of misery and distress. Our heaven, our kingdom. It's gonna be complete misery and distress for you, for you, for you so-called white people. That's the hell that that's talking about. Our kingdom, the new heavens and new earth. Why? Because it's gonna be righteousness, and we know that this devil hate righteousness. Right. Go ahead, bro. Okay. Unless you have more precepts, I mean. Yeah, I was gonna just pull out part of the gospel. How strangers are gonna be feeding off lots and all that. Oh yeah, oh, shoot, man. Go ahead. That's our kingdom, Isaiah 61, yep. Isaiah 61, and verse 5, he says, And strangers all right, shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the aliens shall be your plowmen and vine dressers. Yeah, so man, basically, that's going to be hell. Most what do you say? Uh, I was just saying, that's going to be hell for them. Yep, yep. A, a white man's heaven is a, a so-called black man's hell, and vice versa, man. All right? Yeah, they were just being turned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you gotta understand. And the reason why it's gonna be more hell for them is because they really disdainly hate us, bro. 
Like they really hate us, bro. Hey, bro, have you had, bro, have you had to do something nice for somebody that you really didn't like? It just it bothers all the time. me. It, oh, God, God. <laughs> it bothers <That's> you. <laughs> it bothers you. It, bo- it makes you pissed off. Yeah. So that's why these yeah. devils really, because they really hate us. They hate the hell out of us. So, them knowing that, they're going to be like, oh, it's really, they, it, yo, bro, they're going to be offing themselves in the kingdom. And guess what? I ain't going to let them neither. As soon as they finna think about offing, I'm going to be right there. You go, hey, you gonna snatch that gun out the head? Uh, uh. You go smack in the field. <laughs> you almost got out of here. <laughs> oh man, you gonna you gonna serve out this hell? Yep, yep. Come okay. on. I'm gonna put this whip on your back one more time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, bro. But like, yeah, like you said, yeah. Bro, that's my job, bro. Doing things for people I don't want to. Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? And I see it in their face, bro. When they see me pull up to the house, right, and and they didn't know a nigga was gonna come and save them, right? They see me. You can see it in their eyes, like, damn, why are you? You know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> hey, but they know, they know I gotta do it. It's my job. Right. And literally, bro, at my old at my old fire station, literally had some uh some of these crackers, bro. When they saw a black fireman pull up, they'll tell, no, nah, we don't want that nigga. You know what I'm saying? They'll straight up tell you. Oh. Like, I've had uh, old black fire captains. They'll tell me uh, some of their stories when they first got on, like, uh, around, like, in the uh, in the early 90s or whatnot. And said, yeah, we don't want that nigga to put out our house fire. Oh, snap. Uh, so you rather but, have your house. Yo, da- yo, bro. Yo, yep. but, yo. See, that shows you how, how much hatred they have for us, bro. You rather yep. have your house continually burning in flames. Another fire, a no, whole another fire truck to come. That's yep. crazy. Yep. Wow. That's hatred on another level. Bro. Yeah, 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 bro. That's why. That's why. That's why it's going to be so, so, so bad and so horrendous for them in the kingdom. Right. Because they're going to be doing all this for us, knowing that deep down they have a deep hatred for us, bro. Who? And 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 this is going to be funny, bro. Have you ever triumphed over somebody? That uh, that hated you. It just tastes so great. It mm. tastes so great to triumph over somebody <laughs> that just hates you. Yep, yep. Like ha 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 ha, dummy. Damn, man. The most has a beautiful movie director. Man. Straight beautiful, up. beautiful, bro, bro. This movie couldn't be any better. Cause you got guys, but oh well. If the most I knew that all oh, this is gonna happen, why didn't he listen, dummy? Listen. The most high is the perfect movie director. Doesn't the movie director knows that the that the that the villain is going to turn into a villain eventually? Why didn't he write in a script for it to stop? Because the movie has to be interesting. The movie had to catch your attention. Can't be boring. You know what I'm saying? If 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 the good always prosper, right? How how interesting is that? It's not. The most I had to make this thing interesting, bro. Right. And this is hella interesting. Hey, the Lord loves drama, man. Yeah, 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 yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. This is a whole drama, uh, a, a whole drama series, man. Everything. And this goes to show you, man. He's not like some type of autonomous being where he's just like, you know, what I'm saying, just ducked off in the sky. He's just, yeah, just, you know. No, man. He has feeling. He has emo. He's a living God. You know. And he's got all these feelings and these emotions, and he just he displays exactly how he feels out on planet Earth, man. Right, right. Hey, that's beautiful, man. And 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 for him to display his love for us, you know what I'm saying? To to be spokesman in these last days, that makes me even more happy, man. Yo, that's so cool, man. Yo, man, this. Yo, man, it's so cool. Wait up. What you got? Oh, uh, no, that was it. I was going back to the loop. Oh, God. Uh, I think we're at uh, 24 now. 24. Mm-hmm. All right, bet. He cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me 
and send Lazarus. Yeah, yeah. The reason why this devil saying Father Abraham. Yeah, yeah. Now, now this devil trying to pull. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm the, I'm the family card, cause you know Esau <laughs> is, you know, um, uh, Esau is related to us. This dude was trying to put a family. Card. Yo, fire, yo, pop, pop, pop. <laughs> yo, deep down, bro, Esau don't even, don't even bang with Abraham, bro. I bet you the man Esau didn't even tell, uh, uh, his, uh, uh, his, his descendants about, uh, about Abraham, bro. They trying to put a card. Father Abraham, mercy on me. No, you know your ass ain't getting mercy. Get James two and thirteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because we know we taught him keeping on his commandments, so you know honoring his mother and his father. He that's that's the last thing in his mind. And you can hey, you can see it through these little devil seeds today, man. You know, like white kids, they don't really, you know, what I'm saying, give homage to their to their forefathers. Shut the f up, mom. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fuck you, dad. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Go to your bed, Johnny. Fuck you, <laughs> yo, yo, for real, bro. That, yo, for real, bro. So you know they don't give a damn about our forefather Abraham, right? Right. Mm. We the one who pay our homage to Abraham, man. God, that is funny as ever, bro. That's real talk. <laughs> little demons, bro. Yeah, bro, little ass demons. James 2 and 13. For he shall have judgment without mercy that has showed no mercy. See that? The Lord said he for he shall have judgment without mercy that have showed no mercy. So you guys that you ain't show no mercy. So basically it's saying the Lord ain't gonna show mercy to the merciless to sum it all up. What is saying NOT? NLT, there will be no mercy for those who have not shown mercy to others. Mm. But if you have been merciful, the most will be merciful when he judges you. But he's not. Yeah, but he's not. Why? Because you haven't shown any mercy to us. Yep. Chiefest right. reason. Yep. Ezekiel. Ezekiel 35 and 6. It says, therefore, as I live, say of Yahweh power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Sith thou hast not hate his blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Yeah, and who was his director to? Mount Seir, Esau, Edom. All right, because he didn't hate blood. All right, well, the Lord's going to prepare him blood, man. Right. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah, here we go. Verse 24 again. Yep. Luke 16, 24, he says, And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. Send Lazarus. Yeah, yeah, Dang. man. Yeah, man. Send Lazarus. And and listen, and this devil knows, bro, because like, because our people is like a passionate people, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. this time around, the Lord's going to put the spirit on us to not be passionate, bro. Because, mm -hmm. you know, Jay, you had that one, because cause I don't know if you've seen the movie Birth, if you've seen the movie Birth of Birth Nation, Nation with Nat Turner, and, yep. and, you, and, you, and, you, and you had the one little nigga in the background, and he went and go told uh, uh, on the slave masters, bro. yeah, bro, little nigga, man, cause he like, damn, <laughs> he, was like, he was scared. He, he, he was like, yep. damn, he's like, damn, man, you know, I want to save master. That's you know, that's how yeah. Jake is. It was up to Jake, bro, in the kingdom. Esau would be right next to us, ruling. That's why the Lord. <laughs> that's why the Lord's gonna have to put His mercy. I mean, His spirit on us to lay down His right. vengeance. Right. Cause you so called blacks and Latinos, y'all be like, all right, man, enough is enough. Come on, come on, come on, Mr. White Man. Yep. So the Lord's gonna have to put a spirit upon us, man. And yo, because cause look, this devil knows. Oh, yo, let's ask uh us uh, uh some of them for some mercy. Mm -hmm. And we can't anyway. Cause why? Well, mm -hmm. Cause like I said, the Lord's gonna put his spirit upon us. Con, mm -hmm. Con, go ahead. Con, yeah, it says, uh, with Ben Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. Mm -hmm. And uh, why is he asking for his tongue to be cool? Because America's on fire, man. Well, 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 first and foremost, if you're in hell burning in flames, what is, what is a little dip of water going to do for you? 
Number one. Number two, how do you have a tongue in hell? Is it? Shouldn't your tongue be gone? How is this how is this possible? And I thought once you're in hell, you can't ask for God, you can't ask God for no mercy no more. That, that's it. That, that's done. Well, you know the damn Catholics they use this for uh, purgatory. Purgatory. Uh-huh. When yeah, since I'll... when since you were I thought I went since you were burning in purgatory because I was in the Catholic Church. When since you burn in purgatory? I thought purgatory is 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 the place you go to before you either go to heaven heaven or hell. Mm-hmm. See purgatory. Damn devils. Let's see. I'm, uh, I'll just get this. It says uh, purgatory in Roman Catholic doctrine, a place or state of suffering inhabited by the souls of sinners who are expiating their sins before they go before going to heaven. So expiating, talking about how um, they uh, they're getting, let's see, some of their sins absolved, expiate uh, to make amends or atone for. So it's kind of like a transition between heaven and hell, right? So the Lord's kind of like, like hence that, that that root word purgatory is purge. So the Lord, is, they they say that's where the Lord puts fire up under them to where it purges out the iniquity, so they could be translated to heaven. Right? Well, I said then then and that how the hell was you how the hell was you saying all of this though? I, my ass would be screaming if fire is right. lit under me. Right, dummies. But yeah, go yeah, ahead. And send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. Yeah, man, trying to um ask us ask, ask us for mercy. Go ahead. Yep. And um, but ain't gonna be no mercy, man. Yeah, it is. You know, this is just how it's gonna be. This is Second Samuel twenty two. Right, right. Ain't gonna be no mercy. 41. Says thou hast also given me the neck of my enemies. That I might destroy them that hate me. They looked, you see, like like uh like the rich man. They looked, but there was none to save, even unto Yahweh, but he did not answer them. See, that, that's how it's gonna be, man. Verse uh, 25, but Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest that good things. Yeah, man. Hey, bro, remember, remember you your ass was rich. Your ass was rich, bro. See, man, bro. Even when this devil gets out, of, bro, this nigga still want to brew. Like, bro, you had your, you had your turn, Sapporo. When was our rulership, bro? Only forty years. Oh, good rulership. I mean, the thousand years we were ruling in the Roman Empire, the the Byzantine Empire. You know that wasn't that. You know that wasn't the way the way it should have been. So that honestly don't even count. We only been ruling. We only ruled for forty years, I forty years. Hmm. Under 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 Malak Shalama, King Solomon. So now it's our turn. Go ahead. He says, and likewise, yeah, matter of fact, um uh, let's see let's see what they say like in in, 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 in like the um NOT or something. Let's see. Let's see. Luke sixteen twenty five say but Abraham said to him, son, remember that during your lifetime, you have everything you want. That's James 5. Yeah, everything you wanted. And Lazarus had nothing. We had nothing, bro. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Bro, remember, your Abraham said, but look, son, you had everything you wanted, though. And your whole entire life. And Lazarus had nothing. Who is this talking about, bro? Now, like, like I said, the rich man... That's symbolized. They're they're metaphorically being symbolized as as a whole nation. Lazarus as a whole nation. So as a whole, as a whole, blacks and Latinos, Native and some Indians, literally got nothing. Literally, bro. While you guys, you had everything you wanted. And this why the fruit of the Roman twenty eight thirty three, the fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation. Which I know is not eat up. He was eating, and he was eating on his own table, man. He says, "And thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always." All right. 
That's how we had nothing, man. Con. Because he ate it up. Con. So, boom. So, now... Wait, say, I... No, 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 go ahead. Yeah, so now he is here being comforted, and you are in anguish. So, now he here is being comforted. Now, where's the here that we're being comforted in? In Zion. In Israel. Jerusalem. Jerusalem means what? City of peace. Right? So, now, we're going to be... In, in a peaceful land, chilling, receiving our daily bread in a huge amount. Because what does Bethlehem mean in Hebrew? Bayath Lacham, house of bread. We're going to be being fed all the day long, every day. Uh, uh, oh, Isaiah 40 and 1 Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people. Say, if you have your power, for you speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem. And cry unto her that her warfare, right? The time that when we stop begging, right? Our captivity is turned around, says, is accomplished. That her iniquity is parted, <clears throat> for she have received of Yahweh's hand double for all her sins. Right. So, yeah, that's how we're going to be comforted, man. That's right, bro. A change going to come. That's my, that's right. that's my song. Yo, Sam that's Cook. Song, hey, that song made me sad, bro. Yo, bro, listen, bro, listen, bro. I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember, man. I was, I was riding the Uber. I was listening to that song, I, bro. I was, I was crying up. I was crying, bro. For real. So that right there is the trans, is the transition of power, man. Right there. Go ahead, brother. Yo, verse twenty-seven. Uh, also a lot. Verse twenty-six. And beside all of this. Between us and you, there's a great gulf fixed. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Only let me put that up in the Bible hood. Yeah. What's that, Luke 6 and uh, 26? 16, 26, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Luke. Let's see. see what these different translations say for that. You know, hey, these, hey, these different translations be here at home. Yeah, they do. Just want to see real quick. Different translation. Schasm. It says chasm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, chasm. That's what it's all saying. Let's go into that word. Yeah, it's C-H-A-S-M if you want to look up the word. Okay, yeah, I just did say gulf or uh, let's say gulf. Okay, gone. Gaping opening. Hold on. Boom. Chaz on definition, right? A, a, whew, a profound dis a profound difference between people, viewpoints, feelings, etc. Then it says the chasm between rich and poor. Whoo! <clears throat> Division <clears throat> split. <clears throat> Basically, we gonna be all the way up here. You guys is all the way down low. Essentially, it's a great golf fix. Like if I say, "Yo, bro, it's a great golf fix between uh my block and your and, and, and your block," meaning what? You are way far away from me, yeah. right? I mean, I'm way far away from you. Exactly, exactly how it is. Exactly yeah. how it's gonna be in the kingdom. That's him. Uh. Tell him doing what? Severing us again. Is and you shall be holy unto me, for I Yahweh am holy and has severed you from other people. He's making that 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 gulf, man. He's moving it, he's creating those bounds once again. And you should be mine. Huh. And yeah, think that that's Revelation eleven, too. When the Gentiles they they they're on the outer court. Huh. Yep. Yep. That's that group, man. You devils ain't even gonna be on the outer court. You devils just gonna be in the dust. <laughs> right. <laughs> dust right. y'all asses. Shit. All right, boom. Where we at now? We at uh. uh... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Verse twenty six. And beside all this, between us and you, there's a great gulf fixed. Yeah, it's fixed, man. It's, it's immovable. It's going to stay like that forever. Yo, bro, just imagine. Just imagine you fell into a well. And I, and, I, and I'm just looking down at you. That's a great golf fixed, bro. 
that's a great golf fix, bro. Like, go ahead. Mm -hmm. So that they which would pass from hence to you cannot. So we can't lift you up. Mm -hmm. Neither can they pass to us that will come from hence. Yo, it says, yo, it says, uh, NLT, it says, no one can cross over to you from here and no one can cross over to us from there. So, bro, we just, bro, we just so far away from each other. It's just, it's, it's just, man, impossible. It's just Damn. impossible. <laughs> if I wanted to help you, I couldn't. Because you're just way down there. And I'm all the way down here. Sorry. Can't help you. This parable Yahweh Shah spoke, bro. Listen, man. This 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 is living water, yo, bro. Yo. Like it's it got so much in it. Yo, bro, this is one of the best parables ever. Yo. And your amplified Bible says, so that those who want to come over from here to you will not be able, and none may cross over from there to so listen. If somebody wanted to help you, we, we, we just we just can't. Nobody can. Nobody can help your ass. We just can't. Sorry. Nobody wants to either. Sorry. Sorry, we just can't. Sorry. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> it's out of my power. Hey, 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 yo. Yeah, it's out of my power. That clip, it says, it's above me. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. It's, it's, it's above my... It's 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 too it's it's is what was that was that expression that's that's above my pay grade. Yeah, it's above my pay grade. Yeah. Can't do it. Can't do it, buddy. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna give him that look like they give us sorry, pal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Hey, just pull it up by the bootstraps. <laughs> yeah, pull it up, bring yourself up by the bootstraps. <laughs> the worst thing that you let is niggas learn how to read, man. You rum you. That's that, that's what my boy Yeromia always say. Damn. It's, it, it was it was bad when you let niggas learn how to read. Cause now we just tripping out on you devils. Man. Yo, 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 bro, this is so fun to me. This is so fun to me. Yo. Really? Like, up. like when people ride by, y'all don't got nothing else better to do? No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I honestly don't. Sorry. What is it to do other than prophesy downfall of a Yo, kingdom, man? Because this is just so fun. I don't have nothing else better than do. I don't, honestly. I honestly don't. When I go to, when I go to camp, come back home, I'm in a Bible. Sorry. I may take a small little break, you know, eat, you know, watch a little basketball clips, play the game a little bit, but I'm, I'm just right back at it. Yo. Ain't nothing else better to do. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, you can't stop it if we wanted to, man. Yeah, the, we the spirit. You couldn't. Hey, it's fixed. Just like this parable said, it's fixed. It's fixed, man. Right. It says, so that they which will pass from hence to you cannot, neither the connect pass to us that will come from thence. Verse 27. Then he said, I pray thee, therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house. Yo, this nigga's still trying to play the father card. You're not getting no mercy, bro. Bro, like, you're not. Go ahead. It says, for I have five brethren. Yeah, man, because when you go into it, right, uh, um, um, the hair was five of them, uh, five of them devils, right? When you read, when you read, when you read it in Matthew, the 14th chapter, it lists uh, uh, different um, hair rods, right? John the Baptist was actually cursing out one hair rod, or was cursing out one, he uh, rode in for um, having sex with his, with his, with his wife, Right? You got a, a, a few of them. Five of them. Go ahead. It says that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Well, guess what? They're all going to this place of torment. Go ahead. Abraham said unto him, they have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. Mm -hmm. And he said, nay, Father Abraham. But if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. They ain't no, ain't no repenting, though. Pursuing the Hebrews 12. Mm -hmm. Right? Go ahead. Yep, exactly. Yep. Luke 16, 31. And he said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, <laughs> though one rose from the dead. Damn. So you would just finish all across the board. Essentially. They're just through all across the board. Yo, that parable. 
It's on fire. Hey, let me get this real quick. It's, it's beautiful, man. All right. 39. Yo, it says, he said, he said to him, if they don't listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not be convinced even if someone rises from the dead. Damn. <clears throat> if they won't listen to Moses and the prophets, they won't be persuaded even if someone rises from the dead. Damn. They won't be persuaded if Yahweh shot himself, man. Because he, hey, because who did they, who did Moses and the prophets write of? Yahweh shot. Devil. What you get? right there. One, but he that giveth his mind to the law of the most high and is occupied in meditation thereof will seek out all the wisdom of the ancient. All right, are we not seeking out some wisdom of the ancient? Yahweh Shah, all right, he says, and be occupied in prophecies. He will keep the sayings of renowned men, and where subtle parables are, hey, he will be there also. All right, and this is a subtle parable, man, to the naked eye, to somebody who doesn't have the spirit. Hey, you're not going to be there. You're not going to understand. It. He says he will seek out the secrets of grave sentences, right? Grave is something that's, that's dug. You got to dig for this, man, and be conversant in dark parables. And this is truly a dark parable, man. Because the right. Christian church, they've been reading this this whole time. I don't know what the hell it's talking about. That's right. But through the Spirit, me and the brother, we conversing in it, man. We can go on for two hours about this one parable, man. <laughs> Yeah, 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 and we really can, but we know, man, these blacks and Latinos, tension span, y'all don't got it. But yo, we're gonna uh we're gonna come back and do a um part two, a part two to this, all right? Get more deeper in it. All right, Daniel, Revelation. All right, man, Lord willing, a few brothers, a few sisters, a few sisters, ratified. Next time we say Shalom.